say, hey, just want to bring you a few options of how this reformer works in such a different way than other pieces of equipment you may have experienced in the past. So just kneeling here on the carriage, which is the moving portion, I can go wide knees, I can go narrow knees, I can move in many directions to influence how this exercise will turn out. So I'm just grabbing a loop. I'm gonna start with just some simple arm lifts. So starting to already get into shoulder work, of course, but also how much has to work in my core to keep me upright here. So, right, if I lean, this is gonna be a different situation. If I pull this way, right, I can't keep that upright positioning. So starting to use the shoulders, but in conjunction with that deep core work. We can take this over here and go into more rotational upper body, shoulder. And again, the instability of the carriage itself requires me to work so much more through my core than if I was standing on the wood floor, moving my arm with a weight. Another one of my favorites is this rotational work here. And it's so hard to come back. So just getting that great shoulder core rotation, just awesome mobility work. So it's just one small way, but huge. How the reformer is different than you on the floor. Who doesn't love some amazing inner thigh work? <laughs> I haven't met anyone yet. So as you get to glide on the reformer, you get this smooth lengthening. And guess what? Pelvic floor, low abs, whoosh, right up. Has to find its way to turn on because you're never gonna just get in by strictly pulling from the foot. So it's this beautiful glide. Now some clients, of course, this is how big it looks for them to find that activation. The cool thing is this spring weight can be loaded up to be a lot harder. Therefore, when I push out, it would be very difficult and I would pull in, it would help me. So then I can work the outer, working on those balancers. We can't get enough of this one ever. So if this is feet and straps. This brings us to another really unique positioning that we're allowed to get into with our bodies, unlike any other. So I don't know if you've done abdominal exercises, for instance, with legs up in the air and lowering them down. You can almost feel the heat talking about it, right? So in this position, when we have our feet in straps, the ropes actually serve as a mimicker to our hip flexors. So what this allows me to do is have my legs work independently and allow me to find this really nice range of motion. So I'm starting to feel my inner thighs heat up, outer hip muscles heat up, and all the while, tons of core. Let me show you what it looks like if I wasn't using my deep core muscles. My butt would come up. You see my low back bend. My low back would pop up. You see me over arch. And you start to see how this is me working from my back versus set those trunk muscles, get that core activated. And now I'm only going to move in the range that's suitable for my hips, strengthening there while strengthening my core. And then, of course, we go into all kinds of lovely <laughs> stretches from here. It's quite amazing. I find this one of the most satisfying ways to work extension while in this position. So if I let myself come to the reformer and just lighten the load here, I can extend my arms out to straight. So what it is going to allow me to do <laughs> is take myself from a bridge, so lots of activation on that back line, I can extend myself out 
And now from here, I get to roll the spine down, but instead of it just coming to the floor, I get to continue on and find this little back bend. I'm gonna ride in, now I can feel my touch on the spring real lightly. And from here, I'm gonna scoop and press and extend my way back out. So lots of wonderful juiciness here for the spine as well as great muscle builder for glutes and hamstrings. And we can take this, of course, in both directions. So I can come down while I'm in and ride that spring out. Woo! Lots of glutes to get in there and back up. I also love this one coming down to the side and I ride a hip out on it. And then I scoop and come up in. And then I'm going to ride down on the other side of my spine. And extend out, riding that spring in. And up you come. And back you are for support. So those are just a few of my favorites. They're unique. You get on this moving platform and no longer have the reliability of the floor. It just ups the game.